What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 62 of Mirrorless Minutes. Uh, Mike's back in the house this week. And, and well. I think we're both well, though, because I heard you were you, yeah. you got your sickness between the show. <laughs> oh, man, dude, I, it was it was bad. I, I haven't been <laughs> sick coughing. in almost a decade. I'm still nasally right now. Um, but other than that, like I started to actually get like a cold cold. It was just it was awful. I'm a sissy. Yeah. So, and yeah, it's just <laughs> something, something about the 60 degrees or 50 degrees, then to 10, but then back to 30. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's it's the Michigan, yeah. It's the Michigan thing for sure. Yeah. Um, so man, boy, we got a lot to talk about tonight. Um, I'm sporting a little memorabilia from a year ago. Yeah, that's definitely something we're going to talk about tonight. Um, and sure. but before we get going, um, let's just do this. I just want I want to give this software away. Okay, uh, cool. Super excited that um, yeah. Jim was on the other week, the last the uh, last episode, and. Um, I am kind of surprised that with the number of views that the videos get, that right. the podcasts get that we didn't have more people that wanted this software, um, unless everybody's yeah, for, already and, it. Yeah, well, and it's possible. It's possible. But I tell you what, they it's a great piece of software, and you guys had a great show. Um, but uh, they just updated it like yesterday or today or something. I just got thinking it's faster. Um, or again, it was already pretty fast. So i will tell you what, you, you whoever wins is going to be happy. That's awesome. And and if you and if you don't, you need to go check it out because I've been using it a whole lot lately with all these uh, sunrise and sunset shots I've had from the Bahamas. They're yeah. really a lot of fun. So, um, and I'm just trying to think of a way to do this that people could actually see like real time <laughs> what I'm doing. But you, the way Google Hangouts work, you can only share like one right window at a time i think unless i can share like one screen let me try that i'll try to share one of my monitors so share entire screen no it's only showing the one screen that's so bizarre really okay, like oh wait hold on let me just scroll down ah there okay we go. hold hold on though before before you make the announcement we gotta he's adding some effects I, here he yeah be, i'm gonna be ready to do the effects so you'll have yeah. to give me the cue <laughs> yeah, you have to um, add them while we can because Google's taking all this fun stuff. I know. <laughs> all right, so here. So let me do the screen share. So <clears throat> okay, there we go. So you can see I've got a, a text document here. And basically mm. the way this oh, works, there it is. the order in which people commented on the, the last episode, mm -hmm. you know, the first person was Robin Desaru. I'm assuming I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Um, he was the first, so he got number one and so on down the line to Reba Basket at the end there at number 20. Um, and then, so I've got a random number generator here from Google. Thank you, Google, you know, for all your goodies. So I'm typing from number one to 20. I'm going to hit generate and whoever it lands on number 11, number 11 is Greg Smith. So Greg Smith won the Aurora. And I can't get my drum to work. Yeah. So Greg <laughs> my Smith, drum isn't working. <laughs> no. So I got that to work. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Mike's right. cutting loose. Over Sorry. There. <laughs> All right. Yep. Mike missed his calling in Hollywood as a. Yeah. What, what are the people called? I can't remember what they call them that do all the sounds off. Stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, Greg Smith, you can reach out to um, Mike or Excellent. myself, and, and we will uh, get a hold of Mr. Nix to get you the, the code. Yeah. We're, we're waiting right now, Greg. In case you didn't hear it. <laughs> okay. All right. So All right, that's me, enough. shut that down. Let me close that out over here. Boom. Close. I don't need to save it. All right. So um, on to the next thing, man. Let's talk about yeah. out of Chicago because it took us a while to get like all the logistics behind getting it set up, set up, and now it's finally set up. So um, yeah. we can talk no about kidding. It some. I so, know. I know. Was, I'll, let, uh, I'll let you talk about what you're going to talk about okay first. yeah yeah well first off i'm just so happy that we're going back i th I, th I think one way or another we are going I, I was positive about that because out of chicago is just too much fun and there's too many people that really watch this show and and uh we get great response and if you've never been i think the best thing about out of chicago and i because i've been to some other photography conferences and out of chicago just does not it, it does not mirror other photography conferences because it's it's so much of I mean, you are so interactive with every instructor and everybody is, I mean, uh, every single person. I, I'm trying to think of anybody that was like off limits and there really isn't anybody <laughs> off limits. Mm -hmm. Everybody's out talking and you're, and you're doing walks. And um, so it's, 
if you've ever wanted to say, well, I want to try a photo conference and see if it's really worth it, do out of Chicago. Yeah. Um, and especially, and not that it's just for mirrorless shooters, it's not. But oh, I'll tell you what, a huge portion of the people there are shooting mirrorless. Or, or they have a mirrorless situation inside their bag as another tool. I can tell you that for yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, because uh, there's, uh, um, I think, I don't know. I don't think we, when we walk through the halls of the place that we ever get much time to sit and talk because you you're always talking to somebody else about some other camera or whatever. Everybody's walking up to you talking, and yeah, and it's like a live mirrorless minutes show for yeah, three days. Very cool, <laughs> very cool experience. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, and I have not had the uh, the opportunity to to attend other photography conferences, but I, I know enough people and talk to enough people they'll oh, yeah. attend things like you know um, Photo Plus Expo or yep. people I know people who are at WPPI right now, and all of those are such a completely different thing because I think the educational opportunities at those conferences are just like these little these little yep. booths or little little small like, classrooms yeah. that are just set yeah. up. Just, it's I'm not gonna say they're impromptu, but they're not like a big dedicated class. class they're, they're there just to teach a class. They're there mm -hmm. to promote a brand. Generally. Oh yeah, exactly. And out of Chicago is almost like flipped 180 degrees. You've got all these brands that are there that are sponsoring and supporting the conference yep. and, and they've got their little area set back, you know, in another room where you can go check out their wares. But the primary focus are right. the people who are there talking and leading uh, photo walks and workshops. So. Yeah, the primary focus is it probably the best way to put it is mm -hmm. photography. Yes. <laughs> Not yeah. new gear. Yeah. Um, of course, there's gear there because, I, I mean, what would be a day without gear? We right. wouldn't want to the show, right? <laughs> but <laughs> but in, in, all, in all honesty, you actually come out and it makes me mad a little bit the last couple of years because we've been teaching as like, I've missed a couple of classes I'd want to get into. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I, I got into Derek's class, Derek Story's class on printing last year. I learned four or five things I had no idea. And they were simple little, you know, tricks that he's always done. And and that's the kind of stuff that you want to hear. And I think Red River Paper is the person that sponsors him to get him there. Um, and, uh, you know, there's just certain things that are always, you find out new. And then the interaction between the people is probably... That's what yeah. I love. Yeah. I, uh, I love a huge piece because, uh, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's good to interact with the other instructors. I like to meet some of those people too. Um, but I got to tell you the people that are there from the participants are really the fun ones. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> have fun with, especially on the walks and, uh, you know, when you're out shooting, it's just so much more, um, I don't know, it feels like you're shooting in your neighborhood with your friends. Yeah, that, that's the highlight for me. I, I like meeting all these new people, mm -hmm. you know. It, like you yeah. said, it's cool to see some of the other the other instructors, you know. I mean, and I'm relatively new to the world of photography, so some mm -hmm. of the people that are there are people that when I first started shooting, I was like, holy crap, you know, I can't believe that I'm going to be yeah. you know, sitting on a panel with this person or, you know, right. in the same room with this guy while he's eating his sandwich on his lunch break, you know, and I can <laughs> talk to him. But um, I think after the first year, you know, you kind of get past that, and then it's like, you know, man, I want to go back because I wonder if so-and-so is going to be back this year, you know, because maybe they'll go on my photo walk and we can hang out again. Right. Or right. just the people that you meet, you know, at mm -hmm. these conferences, you know, I mean, we've made friends, you know, that actually come to Michigan or, or we go to other states and meet up right. with them and shoot again. And it's cool. It's such a cool experience without. Yeah. It. Yeah. I definitely, I, I definitely think that uh, if you don't, if you if you're gonna put some money towards education this year for photography, put it towards right towards that, yeah. Um, because you learn so much at a, at a different at a different pace than just maybe one certain you know class or something in your hometown. Uh, you get so many different varied views. But but yeah, so out of Chicago because I know um, I was talking to someone today by email and they said, well, like how does it work? You know, you pay a, you pay money. Yes, everybody pays you know the fee and then that's what the classes are for so you sign up for those classes that's your fee mm -hmm. now there's additional fees if you want to go on the photo walks some of them are a little bit more expensive than others and it's because of the areas they're going to or maybe they're bringing bunches of their own equipment i know lighting ones i think there's a couple lighting ones oh, that yeah. are more expensive um but uh in essence those aren't too bad and and, and they're capped to the photo walks and I think at different uh, levels. I, I don't know the exact number, sometimes 12, 15, yeah. uh, you know, as far as p numbers of people. 
Yeah, they coming. don't make them so big that you're going to get lost in a crowd. So right, and 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 I think that's important. Um, that's important to know because that's where you go pay the money. You go crap. I couldn't even see the guy because he was you know 50 feet in front of me the whole time. You're really you're just walking with him and and you're shooting with him. And, and if you, if you're good with that kind of education, I mean, he's not out there on a board teaching. You're out on the street shooting with these people, and it, and it's not all about street shooting either. I mean, lots of stuff to do with architecture, um, lots of stuff to do actually with landscape. I mean, the stuff you did last year was all about yeah. landscape in your class. I yeah. mean, <laughs> didn't have any street people in it at all, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Um, and then I think every one of our photo walks was a live composite. So obviously it's in the street, but at, at the same time, it you know, it really doesn't involve many people because they blur out anyways. You never see them. <laughs> so, right. yeah. Um, but, uh, and then uh, the other piece, so you're paying for your, your entry fee, get you to the classes, and uh, then you're paying for extra for walks. And I think there's some workshops. I know for sure there's workshops Thursday yeah. and Friday, two days before. Um, and th those uh, those are a little bit more expensive, but they're also capped. And then you're spending like eight hours with the instructor, though. Yeah. Um, you don't always get that. Uh, you know, that much time with one on one with a person like Derek or uh, Marie Lagneau going into the streets, uh, trying to think who else is there. I think, I think, uh, Julio's back this year. Yeah. Julio's back this year. Yeah. Doing some stuff. So yeah, those are, you know, just some of the people. So, um, I think if you haven't checked it out, check it out, but I'll tell you about what I'm doing. Um, so, uh, you know, we're doing some stuff together, some, and some classes apart, but for me, I, uh, if you know, when you watch a show, I'm, I'm working on this personal project that I started this year called Chicago squared, uh, this weekend actually is my first weekend in Chicago, and uh, I'm just going to do everything in square format photography in Chicago. And uh, and I keep telling myself, should I do just black and white? Should I do just color? You know, and I started saying, I'm not going by any rules except one. I'll make it square photography. So whatever I want to do, because that's one thing I think we do, especially for us. I know we have certain you know commitments we have to give to Olympus and and that. I, I just want to be out there for myself. Yep. Uh, if I get some extra great pictures for them, fantastic. But personally, right now, now this is about me and street photography and learning and and uh, and trying to stay on focus of square photography, something different, something. So what I'm going to do is a thing called building your own personal project and talking about how to do it, how to go about it. And you may come out of that with an idea. You may not even come out with an idea. Mine probably took like yours, I think. Uh, three years, four years, I don't know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to really come up with one that I liked. And uh, and then I'm also, though, for the class, I've talked with uh, Megan. If you haven't watched our show, I don't know what number it was. <laughs> I think it was like 40-something. But we did. We interviewed Megan Crandlemeyer, who did this 52 Magic Mondays in New York this year, and uh, where she went out every Monday and did street shooting in New York. I am going to interview her for that class. Um, we've talked a little bit about it and that, that's gonna, another one. So she's already at the end of her project. She's actually starting to write a book and she's actually going to even crazier. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this or not, but I am. <laughs> she's actually taking like uh, some classes on starting to write a book. That's awesome. Now, so she can put all this information she has together. Um, so, so we'll, we'll get some good um, plans on how to do it, what to do. And, uh, you know what? It'll be a fun class, and then, um, then you and I on Sunday we sit on a panel for mm -hmm. mirrorless mirrorless cameras. Mm -hmm. I think that is being uh, hosted. Well, I don't know what to call it hosted. What would you say? He's the MC. Uh, yeah. Derek Story. I think it's his. That it's going to be that week's episode of right. the. Digital oh, story. that's right. Mm -hmm. It's you and I, uh, a couple other people. Uh, talking about mirrorless cameras, the state of mirrorless uh, mm -hmm. in photography. And that was fun and, last year. Yeah, that was a blast, I thought, last year. And then we had that room packed, too, with people. Yeah, it was. So, full. <laughs> yeah, it should. I imagine we'll get it again this year. And then, um, so, and I'll let you talk about our walk and your class. So that okay. out too for me. Yeah. Sure. So, so it's funny, like uh, <laughs> last year, I did a uh, class, The Art of the Dramatic Landscape, and I just went over my process for processing landscape photos using uh, the Nick Suita software. And um, 
So it was in an urban environment and I was basically showing images that are so far removed from an urban environment. It wasn't funny, but it College. really went over, yep. <laughs> it went over really well. So I was excited and, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, this year I figured I should probably change things up. So I think I went in about as opposite a direction as I can possibly go. <laughs> and it's kind of a takeoff of a talk I did here in Michigan, um, last fall. And, uh, the subject is urbex photography. So I'm just going to go over basically, um, you know, what urbex is, um, some of the, so, you know, how to get into it, uh, the legalities involved with it, mm -hmm. the etiquette, because there's an etiquette that I think people should follow when they're urbexing, you know, um, yeah. and I'll talk about gear selection, you know, like what I like to shoot with and why I bring what I bring when I urbex and talk about like, you know, safety concerns and things like that. Um, and then I'm just going to, you know, share some personal experiences that I've had from urbexing and, um, and probably, of course, share images and uh, field questions. So it'll be, it'll be completely different than what I did last year, but it's, it's one of those things that I really like to do. I don't do it enough, but um, I think I've done it enough to, to definitely want to talk more about it with people. Um, and it's funny because it's such a rapidly changing genre of photography. It's, it's dying out. It's going away as yeah. uh, gentrification happens and as cities go through major cleanups and things like that. So, um, but there's a way to continue to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll, you have to come to Chicago and I can talk <laughs> about what that is because there's another way to go about this. Um, but the other cool thing that's going on that weekend is Mike and I, it's cool. We always get to go do a photo walk in the evening. In the last couple of years, it's always culminated <laughs> at the yep. Chicago theater. So, yeah, I, th I think they're actually going to get us a brick outside the Chicago theater. <laughs> we'll have all all the minutes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should have one made and actually sneak out there and install yeah. it. Um, <laughs> so, you know, Mike and I were talking with Chris Smith, uh, the gentleman who got the ball rolling on this whole out of Chicago thing, and told him, you know, while we love doing Chicago theater, it's great. Um, we've actually been asked by many people if we will do something different. So, uh, so we're going in the opposite direction. Um, we're going to do what we're calling Chicago Illuminated. And um, our photo walk is going to begin at the Adler Planetarium. And right. we're going to shoot the Chicago skyline. Um, yeah. I won't give a whole lot of details about much after that. But we're not going to spend the entire time there. But I guarantee if you come on our walk, you're going to have a stunning Chicago skyline image to run off a print of yeah. hang on your wall at home. It'll be gorgeous. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then we're, we'll hit one other I super iconic uh, yes. Chicago yeah. piece right after it. Uh, all, only you'd only want to get it at night. So, and, and we'll go for a good walk, but we're going to meet out at the planetarium instead of you walking there and then walking back. That might be a little long for a night. Anyone hit the sun set at the right time yeah so yeah. everybody will meet at the planetarium and then walk walk back is our is our plan yeah so I, I think that i'm real happy with that um you know i think it'll be a lot better and you know my suggestion definitely bring a tripod there's tons of room yes. to shoot there there's so much room to shoot you cannot you could be you could spread out 50 photographers there yeah. and i'm sure there's been hundreds there because there's there are elevated steps that stretch way out onto a pier i mean you really have um and they're all um it's not a wood pier it's all cement yeah so you really it's going to be very nice to get an, a good night now what we need is no rain um yes. but if it rains we'll still figure it out unless uh, we get lightning on the other side of the city skyline no, like we had in philadelphia really cool. i would take that yeah <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, after our last time, I think I'm more excited about if we did have rain. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know. you know, and for anyone who, okay, up until a couple of years ago, I honestly was not a person who traveled to Chicago. So um, if you're not familiar with Chicago and especially Adler Planetarium, mm -hmm. just do a Google search for that, yep. a Google image search or go to Flickr and, and just uh, type in Adler Planetarium and the word skyline and you'll see images that were taken probably from that same location. You'll understand why oh, yeah. you should come and, uh, and go on our walk. It'll be yeah. great. Yeah, absolutely. Ab absolutely. So, so make sure, yeah, make sure you check out uh, Chicago. And I think I wrote down, um, I believe it still works the the code early summer for $50 yes. off. Yes. So it's just, early, that right up yeah, it's just <laughs> early summer is the mm -hmm. code. Yep. for fifty dollars off then so but we'll put a link in the thing for the actual out of chicago but in the early summer is the uh is, is the, the promo code yep. yeah it's the promo code there so 
save that 50 bucks and uh you yeah. take us out yeah exactly <laughs> all right so, uh, i'm such a dork <laughs> on to the next subject um so do you want to do an image share you know how long it's been since we've shared images i know i know it, it it is um do you want to start i got something i don't want to show different okay. that i wasn't planning and i'm working on right now so that's okay. why my eyes my eyes are looking at the all right, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah go ahead on. you start your Close. thing and <laughs> all right so um man it's been a while since we've done this mm -hmm. um and michigan sucks in the winter time so i'm oh. just asking for pity from everybody on this um so this photo that i'm sharing right here uh i just went out early one morning and it was actually nice out it wasn't really too cold and it was warm enough to where we were getting fog and it had been a while since i've shot a sunrise so i just went to this place that's not too far from my house but the reason i'm even sharing this is because i had wanted to um to shoot a high res shot you know with uh with the 12 to 100 and the em1 mark ii because mm -hmm. i don't do that often enough you know it's something that frank smith in our uh, in the olympus visionary program always talks about he always drills it into us take advantage of the high res shot so that's what this is um that and i just kind of wanted to do a high res shot just to see mm -hmm. how much more um information you can pull out of an image so you know single exposure not a um not a bracketed shot or anything like that um next shot so i have talked previously on the show about a camera that i had converted to infrared through um life pixel uh conversion they do conversion so this is an 830 nanometer conversion on my on one of my em1s <clears throat> excuse me and uh so i'm trying to i've got my own personal project this year where i'm trying to get out and um find scenes and then shoot them in color and in black and white this one was not shot in color and if i do shoot side by side shots in color and black and white you're not going to see them on this show <laughs> until my project is done so but this is uh this is how it comes right out of the camera so this is why i got this camera converted because this is a look that i used to have to put work into getting with my other cameras in my conversion process you know through nick silver effects um and i'm just loving the way this camera works um again another shot just some dead grass actually the same morning that i shot that first photo um i shot this and i do actually have a uh, similar scene to the first photo that i shared with you guys one in color one in black and white and that'll end up in my uh, finished project as well but everything looks so completely different through an ir camera um there's a lot of detail that i don't think you normally pick up when you start removing the color information from a photo so just the patterning in this fallen grass uh just i don't know just through that camera i was like holy crap i gotta shoot this not something i'd probably normally shoot um just the other week i went with some friends to a uh, town in a park not too far from where i live it's called grand ledge um really cool geography there there are these sandstone ledges everywhere and uh it turned out we got there it was like gorgeous a little bit partly sunny um ended up really snowy as you'll see in the next photo that i shot but um i just happened to notice this tree was growing around this um boulder and you know so this is not with the infrared camera this is just run through uh, one of my custom presets in lightroom uh finding myself wanting to shoot black and white uh, a lot more lately and this is with the uh the eight millimeter fisheye again another lens i don't shoot often enough with i don't think so we went from this where there's no snow and actually a little bit sunny you can see up behind the tree it looks kind of bright to this all within about 20 minutes um and this is a self-portrait uh, I set my camera up pre-focused on the uh, the the high point of the trail where I'm standing right there. Set a, uh, the timer, you know, for like 10 seconds, triggered the shutter and ran my fat butt up there to stand in the snow and shoot this. And this is with the uh, the 40 to 150 Pro on the um, EM1 Mark II. And the last shot, I uh, went out to celebrate um, a birthday with a friend of mine. Uh, it's his son's birthday and we went to a place called Dave and Buster's for uh, for like a little party or whatever and then afterwards we went to a burger joint and this gentleman is a member of their family and um, and I had my camera set in mono and I had the 25 millimeter f1.2 and this gentleman had the coolest beard I think I've ever seen in my entire life he said that when he came home from Vietnam he stopped shaving so he's been growing it for like 45 years but this is uh 
yeah, I don't know, the 25 millimeter 1.2 in a dark restaurant and you're able to get just phenomenally gorgeous shots with it. That's wow, kind of all. That last one, I really like that shot. And then you got Albert Einstein in the background. Yeah. <laughs> on the picture that's hilarious but you know it was funny because I, I i was shooting other people mm -hmm. in black and white and um and that's you know doing like you know a custom black and white in camera and uh and i turned to shoot him and his beard was just like Poof. i'm like oh my gosh wow. this is like great you know and i said you don't mind if i use talking to somebody else and he looks and says nope not at all i need to turn back around and start talking again i was like sweet you know and just you should yeah, shoot him yeah, with the yeah. infrared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of curious now. Yeah. yeah. Wondering about. <laughs> Did so you so come that's... all the way? You came all the way out here to go to Dave and Buster's out in Novi or wherever it is? Yeah. 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 Wow. You guys took a ride. Or Livonia. Is it Livonia yeah, or Novi? It's, 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 it's off of 275. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah, one we went one, to. There's one right by my house, too. Actually, yeah. where we did our workshop at oh, that no hotel. Kidding. It's behind that hotel where we yeah. did our Job. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's where we went so oh that's cool that's, that's <laughs> pretty cool so all right well here I'll, i'm gonna share and well why i thought i was oh that's right what do i have to do i have to do application window that's right yep okay so you can tell it's been a while all right <laughs> this is what i wanted to share this is from adler planetarium oh my god see people yeah. so okay there you go come to chicago <laughs> I mean, it's it goes without saying. You can get shots like this right from there, and you know, and and of course, the other great thing is you've got uh, Jamie, who our expert, uh, uh, you know, landscape shooter, is going to be able to help on all these qu questions that you can get some, you know, really sharp shots. I think out there too. So there's your Adler Planetarium shot. That's what I wanted to get. Stunning. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's move on and see if we get, we'll try to get warm up the area. I've got a couple Bahamas pictures that will make nice. me feel better. Um, this is a place we stayed at, um, had this billy room. So I was shooting with the Pen F and, and of course in the uh, mono profile number two, um, just the, just the coolest to shoot all this old, uh, like Victorian stuff, uh, in that mono profile and, you know, these cool rooms like this billiard room and, or uh, just like mansions and, uh, really neat. Just taking that around, doing some interior shots with that. Uh, was a lot of fun, but of course you're there. This is one of that's when it was a little cooler. So now we had to go outside. Um, I've, and this just beautiful sun. Uh, this was a sunset. I'm trying to orientate myself for where it was going because, of course, the moon's up there underneath the little tiki's. But uh, this just a beautiful, you know, uh, relaxing sunset on the beach. And uh, Gosh, these pictures, I, I could look at them, just keep staring at them going, why did I come back? But <laughs> um, So, and one of the things about in the Bahamas and Nassau is that's where all the cruise ships, and those of you that take cruises probably know this, uh, that's a huge stop. They can fit six of these ships uh, there in their docks. And holy cow, um, the size of these things, it's hard. We were, of course, on a boat when I took this. But I, I more took it for the sky, and, and the blue water is is amazing in the Caribbean. Everything is so blue. I, I look at that picture and I think, did I mess that up by putting too much blue? And that's that's it. That's the blue. <laughs> so that amazing uh, size of those boats, and that's a Disney boat in the back there. Um, another one from one of the docks in the morning is that water. Uh, this was a sun sunrise, and the, you know picking up the bird. But this actually is done in Aurora. Uh, HDR made by Mac Fun, same people that make the Luminar, and then Luminar. Uh, I took it in back into Luminar, did a couple uh, uh, tweaks with it after making it. So it's a three, a three stop uh, HDR, a three bracket HDR. Um, but it's just a beautiful morning there. So we'll leave that. That's what it was. Now we're back. <laughs> this is home. This is Detroit. Uh, this past weekend, uh, went out with a couple of friends and. Uh, and got some cool shots with the ice sort of moving down the Detroit River. And we've got this really cool lighthouse out there. Um, and very early in the morning before sunrise. And never even really saw the sun that day. That that was about the uh, least cloudy it was the whole day right there. Um, but uh, a, f a fun time in the morning with that. And uh, finishing off the day on Woodward Avenue. Uh, just getting down, taking some low perspective shots. Um you know, if you're from Detroit, you know about Detroit, Woodward Avenue, of course, is a main strip, main drag. 
it's where the new M1 rail is. So there's a lot of action. And I'm trying to get some of these shots now so that in 20 or 30 years, when Woodward takes another huge change, is that, you know, we've got some shots of what, what it looked like back when. So, so yeah, that's, again, like, I think, I think Jamie says it well, it, it, it's, you know, it's tough to get out sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Besides being sick and everything, which hasn't helped, uh, no. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to get out. And I think uh, I've shared some stuff and uh, I don't have anything to, to show on it, but I know Peter's done some in, indoor stuff. Peter Baumgartner, our, one of our uh, people in the visionary group, at Olympus, which is some really cool stuff. So sometimes you got to shoot indoors. Yeah. You know, you got to, you got to keep it going though, uh, for sure. Whatever you could do. And heck, you know, spring's right around the corner is the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> if, if we're talking out of Chicago, spring must be around the corner, right? That's right. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> so, yeah. It's funny um, that you mentioned that about Peter shooting those. Like yeah, I, he, he posted one of those photos I know. Um, I think it was limes, and I was like, "Man, you're right. I should just be shooting indoors." So then I busted out, and started doing like water drop photos, you know. Yep. And that's right. You did that water drop photo. It's and with the new Mark II and Mark II and the yeah. FL 900 R. Yeah. I mean, there's some serious. Uh, you you can make some serious water drop shots that way. Oh, yeah, no, no. It's a powerful flash. I'm like blown yeah. away at how powerful that thing is. It's yeah cool. for a micro four thirds camera. That, yep. that is for sure. Well, one and one uh, other thing I'll talk about spring. I want to bring it up while we're here because there's only a couple of spots left, and maybe you've noticed this or not if you follow me. But um, every year in the spring, right around April, I do a workshop with Derek Story. And if you don't follow Derek Story, which I'm hard to believe you don't because so many people in the photography business know him, uh, definitely tr do it because uh, you know he he runs a uh, uh, just an amazing podcast, and you know the whole digital sign um but we're um we're doing a workshop together in san francisco it's a three-day street photography workshop and and i think the the big thing is that it's, it's april 6th to 9th there's a couple spots left we'll put a link in the in the show notes for you um but one of the things that is really sharp we did last year is we started instead of just street shooting because we we stay right down in the heart of city at union square and um, you could walk out your door and, and get a bunch of street shooting. But instead of just doing that, we started uh, going around the city a little bit to some different areas, went over to the, the you know, actually, and the Golden Gate Bridge, if you know, San Francisco is not like in the city. So you've got to get to get over there. And there's a, there's an abandoned fort there that you can go into. Of course, it's a state park per se, but it's an abandoned fort. You know, it was used to protect the bridge way back when. And, uh, you know, we'll do a couple things like that. And then we went over to Sausalito, which is a, you know, a little island off of that. You got to take a, a boat over to a little ferry over to. So a lot of different things, but we only hold it to eight people. So a lot of these workshops, I know we, we put more in probably in our workshops, um, but holding it to eight people with two instructors really helps. And, you know, we, uh, we're right in the heart of the city. Um, I think that you get to not only learn from Derek, who's an amazing photographer and with an amazing career as a, as a journalist and a writer. And I don't know how many books he's written. I'm going to guess it's a 20 plus books he's written. Um, and you get to learn from him, but also the feedback and camaraderie of, of the, of the eight people really, uh, holds them together. And one of our best friends, uh, you know, look at it, Victoria Diaz. I met her at this workshop four years ago. That's cool. Um, and, and, you know, and, it, and those are lasting friendships. And I think that says a lot for the people that come to this. And, uh, you know, and it, hey, you always had some good swag and special offers. Last year, I got uh, four Pen Fs for, you know, kits. Everybody was able to use a Pen F, a 17 millimeter, a 12 to 40. So we're working on Olympus to get some of that there again this year. Hopefully that'll happen. And uh, so it's a cool workshop, but April, uh, April 6th to 9th, you know, do your taxes, get your tax return back and go to San Francisco. But there I think there's only go. two, only two seats left. So better hurry. check it out. Uh, <laughs> check it out soon. Yeah. And you don't have to be a mirrorless shooter. You don't have to shoot Olympus. You don't have to shoot Panasonic. Uh, I, two things uh, over the four years that I've done it with them. We've had at least three people shoot nothing but film because we will do some film shooting. And Derek has cameras that he'll let you borrow even to do that. And, um, and then I've had two people, I think over the years that have done nothing but iPhone. 
Wow, that's cool. So, and then of course you got Canon, Nikon, everybody comes with different things. Yeah. Um, so, you know, don't think it's only mirrorless by, by any means, uh, you know, check it out. But the digital story, you'll find the information there. Of course, that's Derek's like home for everything Derek story. <laughs> but uh, yeah, check it out. And Derek's story will be at out of Chicago. Yeah, that's so, cool. Again, that's a, you know, another thing that, uh, uh, you know, if you, if you like that, then you can check out out of Chicago a couple months later. So, all right. That's probably about it. Um, yeah. I just want to throw out there that um, <clears throat> if anybody's looking for bags, um, I'm probably going to be unloading a bunch of bags. I picked up a new sponsor recently. Um, right there's a Vanguard is the company that I'm representing now and they make uh, bags and tripods. So it's probably, I mean, not the nicest thing to do to walk around with a bunch of think tank photo bags. I still love think tank photo. The, <laughs> the product is incredible um, without a doubt. Uh, and they've always been such a great company to me, treated yeah. me so good over the years. Um, love those guys to death. They're awesome. Still recommend them. But um, like I said, you know, I'm kind of shooting for Vanguard now. So I've got, I think about 10 or 11 bags uh, that are think tank bags that I'll probably end up unloading for Really, really good deal. Some of them, though, unfortunately, probably have like my branding on it. You'll just have to find a way to cover that up. But it's, <laughs> it's part of the super cheap price, I suppose, that you'll get. Hey, so that makes them special. Yeah, there you go. If you, if you think I'm awesome, you can leave the brand. <laughs> <laughs> I expect no one to do that. Um, <laughs> so if you're interested, just shoot me a message on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, email, YouTube. Yep. Send them a mail. Pigeon, yeah. Just mail. I mean, people, I think people actually write stuff out, still yeah. lick a stamp and put it on an envelope and send yeah. it. So if you whatever, you know, just, if you're interested in something that I might have, or you're curious what I have and, and whatever, like I said, I, my wife would love it if I got rid of some bags. She's, <laughs> she's like, you got a problem. You need to start getting rid of some of this stuff. A problem. So I told her, so now I got a reason definitely to do it. So, yeah. Uh, and with that, I guess we're done. Um, it'll be another couple weeks. The next show, though, is going to have to be offset. Right. I've got a commitment on Wednesday, the 22nd. So we're probably going to offset to like a Thursday, I think we said yep. we'd do. We did, yeah, the next day. So yep. So Thursday. the 23rd. Right. The 23rd we're gonna do of show. February will be our next show. Yep. But, uh, yeah, so we'll, I'm sure we'll have information out that week about it. But Oh, yeah. yeah so. Yeah. Same, same thing, same bat channel. Got it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it was great to have you back on again, yeah, Mike. Thanks it's a lot. Been a minute. Back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. See everybody.